Megalophysicus Rex. Okay. Megalophysicus Rex. Okay. Alright, please, plane, be okay. Six meters per second in while swimming. Well, it looks like not time warping when we're within 200 meters was not a sufficient thing to prevent the shuttle from hopping and being on a crashing course. We can only hope that cat-like as it is, it landed on its feet. It seems... It looks sort of okay. Okay. Since it seems like it's upright. What's with our compass going all over the place? Um, I'm gonna save right here before we approach it, just in case. Oh no! Oh no, when I did that, the Krubble went into this position again. Uh oh. I shouldn't have tried to save it. <laughs> Let me load it like that, that maybe it'll help if it's a full thing instead of an autosave outside. Alright, we're fine. Uh, it's not quick saving and quick loading. It's not F5 and F9. It's actually saving and loading. I told you the quick saves are useless. You must actually save. Look at the, the shuttle's hopping, can you see? It's on its suspension and bouncing all over the place. There's a pretty big rock over there. That could be something. Or it could be waiting to smack our shuttle. Do you see that? What is that? <laughs> it's probably just a rock, but I mean, come on. Well, maybe, maybe that means the Kerbals are amphibians and they're actually better in water like frog. They're frogs. But I mean, that's what they did on the moon, look at rocks, so... There is another shiny thing over there, but let's not go overboard with this exploration business. So yeah, it's just a regular rock. Okay. Alright, back to shuttle. Okay, let me take it out of time warp. Oops, see that? See that? Oh, I hope our the landing gear isn't completely buried in the ground. That might cause problems. It sure sunk in there. Oh no, a T-pose again. <laughs> okay, save. Oh, look, oh my, no! Please. Oh. Ugh. No, I have T-posed again. Okay. Time to try to plant a flag. Oh, I can't plant a flag. I already planted a flag. I don't have extra flags. Hmm. <gasps> I tried time warping and it disappeared. Bugs. It flew up. Uh, do you think? I, it was too quick for me to see. I was looking at the Kerbal more. Okay. How do I make sure that I don't T-pose? What's the key here? Okay, that, that definitely does that. And, yeah, she's still got a T-pose. Wow, it comes down from a really high height. Uh, okay. RCS. Fine. I think... Yeah, as she's T-posed, but maybe I can't jump, but maybe I can sort of RCS her there. No, she doesn't have enough RCS. Seems pretty stuck. Backwards? Moonwalk? <laughs> Are we really getting closer? Probably not. Let me see. Oh, try to switch to the plane... Well, if we could get it to rock over to that side. <laughs> um, I, I don't think I have control over it, though.
Yeah, I don't. Come on, you know you want to crush the Kerbal for your landing gear. Oh! I can. Oh, I, I can jump. Oh, but T posed. Uh, okay. Okay, well, that's Fizz Warp. Okay, I'm time warping with the plane. I don't, uh, the plane doesn't have a controller. No, T poses. Oh, okay, doing that rapidly is not a solution. Uh, what do we- yeah, we lost the front landing gear. That's not good. Okay, we're gonna go with uh, that save. And we're gonna ignore the rock. <laughs> Should we time warp? Well, let's try. There's no guarantee that that causes T-posing. Okay. Uh, grab. Yeah. Board. Whew. Okay, so we actually would like to go into the same orbit as that other Leaf shuttle. Which we could probably do. Now, or soon. Well, now would be good too. We're also losing power because we've got the solar panels retracted, so we might as well run the... the jet engines. Um... Oh no! It suddenly became tilted. Well, hopefully you can solve that problem. Uh, how did you do that? I was just in the map view. Why must you be this way? It says activate, but I swear it was on already. Okay. Um, I'm gonna save it again, even though we're tilted. It's probably not the state I want to be saving it. Please, balance on your landing gear. Okay, um, you know what? Okay, right, right. Oh no, don't tilt over. Okay, good. Why do we have so- Ah, oh, it depleted the methane in this. I didn't realize it was- it had used the methane- the rocket had used the methane in this as well. Because we can't do fuel priority. Up we go. Oh, it's paused. Uh-oh. No, please. Don't do anything horrible to me. Okay, good. Here it goes. Okay, I'm gonna try and line up with our target. I don't know if I want to save any fuel for the curb inside of it. But we're def definitely going to be landing this uncrewed, so it probably doesn't matter. No, we don't have a whole lot of Delta V with the jets left. I'm just going to go ahead and activate the sword again. Ah! Oh! Hold on. Oh! It's getting a little bit iffy. Oh, we got plasma. We got potential heating here. Let's just—I don't want it to explode right now. So we've got apoapsis in space, so we'll just leave it be. Actually, it's still going up because we've got aerodynamics. Let's just not get any of that high-altitude heating, please.
All right, we have made orbit with this shuttle. So we have three things. We've got... We're in this little orbit right now. We're 2.7 degrees away from the other shuttle. So we've got this Kerbal Shelkin, the Kerbal on the other shuttle, and then Jeb in the pod around Paul. And we need to get these three home. Oh, right. You can't RCS during time warp. Maybe I should add a little bit of... Oh, oh, okay. That was quick. Okay, well, we're further away than I was planning, but it's okay. We'll fix that when we get there. Let's meet up with the other shuttle. The one that definitely had trouble entering Leaf's atmosphere. Not that this didn't have any trouble, mind you. This still had trouble, but less trouble. Well, I guess we can transmit some of the science. We have enough units. I haven't even extended the solar panels. I probably should do that. Oh, we could do that. One hundred eighty-two meters. That's good. Now oh, there it is. Docking seems like quite a fraught process. Do I want to try to dock these two together? I could get its fuel like that. I don't even know. It seems like all my thrusters here are working. So maybe on the... Well, I was about to say on the Apollo-ish command module is because they got busted on the way up. But then again, this also had a lot of stress on the way up. In fact, more than that did. So why would that one have its RCS thrusters busted when this didn't? No idea. Uh, it wiggles a lot. It's RCS. I mean, it's SAS and it still wiggles a lot. Okay. No, uh, double clicking just changes vessel. Uh, can we set target somehow? Well, we, maybe we can set target on that port. It's this is how we want them, so that the vertical stabilizers don't bump into the stuff, but let's save. No, I, I said hold it. Gosh darn you. Where are you going? Where, why are you doing that? <laughs> I'm gonna run out of my like this. No, it just wiggles around too much. I don't know why it's wiggling around. It's just on SAS mode, just supposed to hold it stable. No, I, I'm pressing the other way. No, stop that. Bring it back. Bring it back. Okay, I'm gonna time warp. <laughs> and then it, when I started time warping, it decided to change where the vector is. Great. So the Kerbal's just gonna have to come out of there. There's two? <gasps> Wait a minute. Shandas was here the whole time. I thought we only had Hudlin Kerman in here, but then Shandas has popped up in here. When did Shandas come? Uh, uh, Shandas had originally been on the launch for this, but then disappeared. And then suddenly we find out that Shandas. Now we don't have enough space for all of them to come back. <laughs> um, well, we'll figure that out later. The shuttle has enough room, it's just the return pod doesn't. The only reason we need a return pod is because we have no faith that the shuttle has enough heat tolerance to return to Kerbin. But there are other ways of doing that. Okay, that's one in. Shelkin and Shanda Shandas. Well, at least one Kerbal's gotta be stranded with this plane trying to come back to Kerbin with it. And that's that. And also we don't have as much propellant in here as I would like since we couldn't dock to that other one. Because the RCS doesn't work right in the game. 
Uh, what, what, it, it actually did, in the original version, I was able to dock, like, modules of a space station together, so I don't know what's happened with the RCS in the game right now. Okay, so there's three of them in here. So, the question is whether we have this go over to Paul, or have the Paul craft come over here. This is 1,500, we do seem to need to bring it back. So, that seems like what we need to come home with. Okay, there's Jeb. But it's still sort of focused on the Leif shuttle. Now it's focused on me because I pressed home. This has 2,642. I feel like we should meet halfway, though. I don't want to get this into orbit around Leif. That takes too much effort. We can't dock them, but we can still transfer the Kerbals without docking. Let's see, when is the transfer back home, anyway? Kerbin is looking like in a decent position. What's the actual phase angle? Okay, Kerbin has to be 48 degrees behind Jewel. Right now it's more like 90. Okay. It's probably not going to take too long, though. And so our trajectory back will be pointed like that. Going this way. So, we want to be over here-ish when we depart. I think... It's, it's nice to use Leif gravity to help go out, but maybe we won't do that. The problem is we can't plot multiple maneuvers at the same time here and see all the Delta Vs. Why meet halfway? So that we can get three of the Kerbals into the pod that is more likely to survive and only have one in the pod that's uh, in the space plane that's less likely to survive. The needs of the many <laughs> outweigh the needs of the few. Okay, this one we'll break orbit with first and we'll try to get into a lower orbit. It's tough when you're in a polar orbit though. Well, since it's a polar orbit, we should just break orbit like that first. Oh, it's actually keeping track of it. That's nice. Let's just depart Paul's sphere of influence. Maybe just outside Tylo orbit's a nice place. There's Tylo. If you want to do that, maybe. That'll make it easier for the space plane to get to us. Let's say we were trying to match with Leif's inclination. But then our periapsis is on the wrong side. We wanted the apoapsis on this side, but that's because we're letting Tylo help, quote unquote. There's a Leif periapsis there. Huh. Well, it's not showing me the resulting orbit after we get that Leif periapsis. But there's a Tylo pass into a Leif pass. How can I resist? It's like a little spiral. Okay. We'll try it. And that Leif periapsis is like right outside its uh, atmosphere. But anyway, we, we will try this. Maybe Jeb will do this so well that it'll earn Jeb a right to come back home. <laughs> or something. In safety. And Shandas, who actually snuck on board the other craft, will end up having to go down with the space plane. I mean, I think maybe we can capture the space plane safely into Kerbin orbit propulsively without having it pass into the atmosphere, and then after that, bring the Kerbal off. But that depends on how the Delta V all shapes up. I'm gonna do this burn exactly as it said. Because the whole double encounter is probably touchy and we'll see if it's telling the truth. Oh no, we're crashing into Tylo, but uh, let's see, RCS. Well, doing the burn exactly as it told me to definitely did not yield the result that it told me would happen. 
I'm not seeing the leaf encounter at all. All I'm seeing is huge amounts of inclination. Gotta try and correct that here. Okay, well, this is probably an encounter there. If it's that close. Don't know if it's the nicest encounter. It's sure not showing me what's going to happen. Thinking this might be a better encounter as far as rendezvousing with our target. If we actually want to go in there and get to the space plane manually. Okay, I'm tired of this. Uh, give me the other one back. <laughs> give me the other one back. Okay, something like that. Must be the truth. Relative speed 1,300 though, so I really don't want to capture around Leif like that. But maybe it won't be too bad. We're pretty low after passing Tylo. But I can't find out right now. So we're just going to do this. Uh, well, are we going to get the... Leif package too, or not? We still have Leif as our target? Well, let's just clear and set again. I don't know. On the bright side, we're flat with respect to Leif, and it says Leif PE there, but I think that's for one of those missions and not me. Anyway, let's pass by Tylo first. Okay, Tylo flyby. Not too close. Not too far. There we go. 